Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. So, if you're regular to the channel, you know that I have this little uh, Lenovo uh, Chromebook 10e. It's uh, like a $99 Chromebook. It uh, It's just a tablet, but um, you can get this keyboard for it for $27. Anyway, it's about the cheapest uh, Chromebook you can get. And um, it's not great, but for $99, it's not bad. But um, it has basically no ports on it, so that kind of limits what you can do on the thing. And it also only has uh, 30... I think 32 gigs of storage and no expansion. So that also limits it. So uh, I went to the Amazon and I picked up this uh, cheap, I think this is only 20 bucks also. It's a uh, USB-C dongle that gives you HDMI, a couple USB ports, a couple SD cards, and uh, pass-through charging. So I don't know if it's going to work on the Chromebook. We are going to fire that thing up and test it out and see if a cheap little dongle like this can make your... Uh, Chromebook 10e a lot more useful. I'm always looking off this way, but on the phone, the camera's actually on this side. Sorry, I'll get used to it. Let's check this out. All right, so I moved the Chromebook over to the desk. Got the dongle here, haven't plugged it in yet. What I'm gonna test out, I got a mouse, a big keyboard. I'm gonna test out a uh, SD card, and I'm gonna plug it in to the TV up there. The external monitor using HDMI and we're gonna see if all this stuff works and I apologize for the shaky cam in advance so let me plug this thing in it lit up first thing I want to do is try the HDMI so let's get this on to well let's see let me plug in the cable first all right Apologize for this. Maybe I should have plugged all this in. Oh, I wasn't recording. Okay, plug that in. Let's see if my screen recognizes it. I think we're gonna want HDMI one. Okay, that worked. We seem to be screen mirroring right now, which is okay. Let me plug in the mouse. Oh, come on. And the keyboard. You know, I already have a keyboard on this, but that's fine. Let me pause for a second and plug everything in. All right, I'm back. As you see, I got HDMI plugged in, keyboard, mouse, SD card. As soon as I started moving the mouse around, the tablet went out of tablet mode and it went into desktop mode. And instead of screen mirroring, we now have an extended display. If I can find my mouse. Okay. And I can move this over. And I got dual monitors now working on this tiny little Chromebook. If we look at the files app, it detected my SD card. I have no idea what's on that card. It's not doing anything when I click on it. I don't know. Maybe it's not formatted. I have not used that SD card in years. Uh, keyboard seems to work. I press buttons on it. It works. Mouse works. So yeah, everything works. That's great. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, this uh, little dongle thing back here um, can really, for pretty cheaply, expand the uh, little Chromebook 10e from Lenovo. Um, as I said, I think it's 20 bucks, maybe. I, uh, if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description. I got it on Amazon. Um, there's tons of them, so you don't have to get this one. You can get any kind. I might test it out and see how it works on the Chrome OS Flex, too. I'm sure it works fine. But yeah, if you have this cheap Chromebook, um, this will get you external monitor, keyboard, mouse, anything. SD card. I don't know why I couldn't click on the SD card. There might be something wrong with that card. I, uh, it's the only one I have to test it with, so I can't say for sure. But if that does work, that's a great way to expand this thing because it only comes with 32 gigs of storage. So there you go. Quick dongle. This will probably work on any Chromebook to uh, expand the possibilities of it so it's just a handy thing to know because a lot of these chromebooks i'm looking at the wrong side again a lot of these chromebooks don't come with many uh, ports or features and this one little thing can expand it quite a bit so i hope that's helpful thanks for watching and have a good day bye now